Hey, welcome back to another week here on my channel, Denise and Monsafa. Um, on my way to have brunch, lunch with a few girls, and I decided to take LJ with me. Bruh, I've never been so nervous to take him anywhere because he's grown up and he's kind of like aware of his surroundings and stuff. And bruh, when his head's like out of whack, the whole restaurant going to be out of whack. <laughs> but anyway, so I thought, um, so shout out to all you parents that, you know, with young ones, I'm just getting anxiety just thinking about it, but like I'm excited at the same time because it's kind of like, okay, well, you're never going to learn unless you put yourself into the situation and then see how we go. If it gets worse, Hannah, Mary, deuces. <laughs> but yeah, I've decided to take some toys for this book, um, these rattle thingies and a fan because it's actually really, really hot today. It's a scorching hot day here in Sydney. I'm even sweating just standing here so we'll see how we, we go if i get to vlog i'll vlog if i don't then you'll know why lj screaming the restaurant down but hopefully they have aircon and it's a cool place and that it's suitable for babies and it's suitable to just have a conversation while he sits there and just plays or he's just gonna scream it out and be like okay we gotta go bye and that is okay but anyways come with us i'll show you the food and stuff like that all right wish me luck and because he like he's at an age where he doesn't know yes or no or calm down or anything like that. So let's just see how we go. All right, bye guys. See ya. All right, guys. So we're here. Are you ready to go out? Because it's quite hot outside. So we all know what happens when you get a bit flustered and hot. So we got to be mindful of that. So as soon as you want to go home, we all go home, okay? But are you gonna be good? Are you? Oopsie, guys. It's about like 40 degrees. Right, Bubba? Right? Mummy put you in this outfit so you can be nice and cool. Oh. Oh. The one has the hiccups. Look at these little toes. You little toe. We made it out of the car. We put LJ in the... Not Mary. Mary helped me put him into the actual pram because I didn't know how to actually buckle the pram. Oh, but it's all wet. But it's cool in, in the actual plaza. <laughs> so we're off to the a shop where we're going to eat. And then he's going to eat as soon as we get there as well. Hey guys. So we're, we're going to be staying there. That's where Denise is going to stay. Yeah. Are we close to each other? We're across the bridge. So we're there. You guys are there. So this is the whole thing for what? Central Sports. We've sent our food. He had his nap for like 40 minutes. We had our food while we were sleeping. So that way that thing. Changed his nappy in the smallest toilet ever in his actual pram. And it was so funny. It was actually hilarious. Good. So it's there. I'm gonna wipe so it before I get it completely left. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, okay, me. It's like scorching hot. So now we're on our way back to the car. Hannah is going to buy more stuff. And yeah. And we survived a 40 degree day. Here in Sydney, out with a 11 month old baby. Well, I survived. Takes a village. Shout out to all you mothers out there, fathers, parents. I actually legit, I think what I was telling earlier in my video that I was saying, I was even getting anxious for this actual day to take him out on such a scorching hot day. You're just like, oh, I don't know how he's gonna react. And man, I just, just for a moment felt what parents kind of dread when going out and stuff and you understand why they don't why they choose not to go out because of that just the preparation leading into actually going out is just too much it just gives me anxiety just thinking about it so i understand okay shout out to all you parents and mothers and fathers out there who are doing this like yo y'all is the mvp y'all the mvp so yeah, we survived. <laughs> as soon as we got to the car, we cranked up the air conditioners. 
Um, and yeah, just luckily the place, thankfully, actually, the place that we were at had the aircon full blast. It was like barely anybody, which was even better. And so, yeah, it was good. Parents up, his parents are off to a wedding. And yeah, now we're just about to chill and just hang and about to feed him his food um, soon, actually. All right. So, as you had seen, I had like a few goodies from our girls catch up. There's this thing. Yeah, so just fed LJ. Now it's time for Auntie to eat, right? There's this sesame ball thing. There's this thing. Ooh, there's this. And there's this. Mm. This is mm, it's like a sweet bean thing. Sweet bean bean. Mmm. It's a meat actually. Mmm. Oh, I like this. This looks like a, a meat sort of thing as well. Mmm, I love this one. This one is, and like, it's kind of like a mochi kind of texture. The outside texture, I think that's why I like it. And the meat is inside is really cool. Mmm. Oh, I'm gonna ask Hannah where she got this from. Really like that. Mm. McDonald's chips. And um, this is like a sweet, which has a red bean, red bean filling. And I love these sesame balls, I think it's called. <clears throat> For a breakfast. LJ, I'm trying to vlog, okay? Auntie trying to do a little mini mukbang. Do you want to join Auntie's mini mukbang? <laughs> Excuse me, just gonna sort him. Alright, got him changed. Take a hundred. <laughs> Dedicated to dough, to dough. It's this one. Are you being dedicated today, LJ? And that's our church over there. Are you being dedicated? Yeah, yeah, he is. We'll see you when we get inside. Bye. Very special event, and that is a dedication. So I wonder if Lance Junior would come, preferably with his parents, and uh, anyone else who. You want to stand with you, possibly a family and then, uh, if you would like to come at this time, it would be great. Okay. One thing I appreciate about Just COVID oh my goodness, uh, so and annoying. dedications is that I'm not allowed to hold the baby. And when you get one that size, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a blessing that dad is holding it. Come on. 
so that people at home can see. So, um, you know, I, I often think um, when we look at uh, these sort of things like christening and dedication, and that, it, it can very easily be something which is just a nice thing to do, you know, that we get a certificate and it's a nice, but it's, it is not that. It's, if that's all it is, we might as well not be doing it. It is actually a very important event in the uh, life of this child and in this family's life. And so I need to explain it uh, for them and for the congregation here and any visitors. And that is, this is a dedication. <clears throat> it's not a ceremony of blessing this child only. It is a dedication where we are praying for this child to be under the hand of God. And we are asking God to minister to this child. We do not believe in this church in baptizing infants because the scripture is very clear. It says, repent and be baptized. A little baby or a little child, not quite a baby now, but still doesn't really know right from wrong. And so cannot... Uh, be baptized because you have to repent before you can be baptized but as we see in scripture we can pray and we can dedicate uh, children to the purpose of God but it is not just about that it's also about challenging these two who are the parents of this child and their responsibility to walk in the ways of God so that this child will also walk in the ways of God so today as we pray for this child we are also charging these two with that responsibility. And not only that, the extended family, ones who are here, we have to live our lives to show this child what God is like because he can only really see God through the relationships that he is in contact with. And so you play a very important role in this. And then as a church, we are welcoming this child into our family. And uh, we recognize also our responsibility to actually see that our lives impact this child for good. Amen? So that's actually what we're doing. Amen? You would have stood silent. But, you know, are we awake? I can just wait, get pictures and put them there and watch you that way, but I like a response. Thank you. That's good. Amen. So let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, we come today. Lord, and we just bring uh, Lance Jr. to you. We thank you for his life. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that he would know the hand of God on him from this day onwards. Lord, that the grace of God would impact his life. Lord, that he would know you, Lord, and know the touch of his God in his life. Father, cause your protection to be around him. Lord, that nothing will happen to him that is not your plan and purpose. Lord, I ask, Father, that he would uh, come to know you at a young age. And Lord, that he would come to the place of saying, I want to follow the God of my parents. Father, I ask your blessing upon him in Jesus' name. And Father, as uh, we come now, Father, and we charge these two, mum and dad, Lord, with the responsibility of living their lives in such a way that the, that the uh, God of their lives, Father, will be seen by this young boy. And he will say, I want to follow my parents. Lord, today I just uh, charge them with this responsibility and to the extended family that they may live their lives in such a way that this child will walk in your ways. We welcome him today into this church family. Amen. 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 Great. I'm giving you this. Don't give it to him, please. I'll give it to Dad. Uh, to remind you of the day you made this commitment and we, this child was given into the hands of God. So if you want to take a photo, I will stand away. I'll be on your back. You are not literally. <laughs> LJ. LJ. What are you doing? We're here at Bridge Lane. Yeah, we're here having, um, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for letting um, my viewers know where we are because they really don't know where we are. It's like, yeah, I think it's over there. Over there, over there. An alleyway, guys. Scary. Do not come here at night. 
mm -mm, not ideal. We just took some photos. Yes, we did. Yes, yes, we did. What is it? No, seriously, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, that's from us. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> no, Carol, Michael. <laughs> Thanks, Flo. You're welcome. <laughs> Oysters, guys. Maybe one of those ones you went to the ice melts right through. Maybe. Oh, maybe this is why they bought this. Food is still coming, guys. Our waitress. Fine dining at its finest. Uh, <laughs> Fine dining at its finest. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Such a pretty place. What's all the orange stuff? Happy birthday, dear Becky. Happy birthday to you. Yay! 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 Oh, I like it. Look at that. Uh, 35th? It looks 30th? like a... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday? That looks like 86. <laughs> Uh, 26, 26. Dessert is served, fam. Dessert is served. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Rosie. Thank you. Where is he? He's right there. Everyone's right there. Let's go. Let's go.